Hi, welcome everyone. I'm Bruce Schwartz. Thanks for subscribing, for the interest, and of course, the ones that have come here every day. Guys, this is definitely something that looks triangular. It does in my video editor, that's for sure. Um, the little black dots. Now, look what's on the surface now. Now, this is the same footage we showed, um, I think, two videos ago. Anyways, either way, look at the surface, the colors, and the beginning of the structuring and the forms and the shapes. But notice the blinking lights. The blinking lights, this is extra slow motion. Again, slowed down. Uh, we're looking at the beginning of the experimentation of being able to see the surface of the moon, not only the surface, to see uh, under the veil. So to see the color, see the structures, see the activity, the UFOs moving left and right, anything, if they are UFOs and not biological life. This is, this is beautiful. It's absolutely beautiful. And I'm experimenting and testing and I'm getting good comeback with what I'm doing. Um, even though I had many problems with the computer being hacked right now, actually. Look at this object. Now, if these objects have different wavelengths and or frequencies, we're not going to see them properly. Um, wavelengths that they say we can't see. Um, well, we can sort of see a vibration or a, a heat wave sort of thing going on. And that's the eye trying to pick up the wavelength, the different fre frequency. So let's start off the night with some close-ups of Clavius Crater, Longomontanus Crater, the crater surrounding terrain around Clavius Crater, which is in the southern highlands. It's a beautiful area, and it's the area you can tell right away by looking. This is Plato Crater. You can tell where that area is, Clavius Crater, southern highlands, which is below here, by looking at all uh, the craters. In other words, it's the area of the moon where there are the most craters. Behind Plato Crater, uh, n let alone below cr uh, Plato Crater, you see those objects that almost look like they're in a track or a hole, right? See the bumps at the bottom left there? Um, we're going to go see that just a bit closer. Look at over top, just beautiful. And you see, we are, we're arriving at the cloud covering, and it's hard for us to see what's underneath. But when we do, the colors start to come out. Tomorrow, I'm staying home, and I'll be working all day on getting a couple videos up. And I want to look at that UFO footage again and to zoom up to get as clear as we can, uh, the best image if we can. If, you know, it's just amazing to see that much activity on the surface of the moon. Thanks so much for the interest, for connecting and supporting with me. This channel is going to get pretty crazy. There's going to be so much, of course, if ever the winter ends here. You should see all the snow we have. It's snowing right now, guys. I'll get a couple photos up for you. Uh, sl slip a couple of photos up tomorrow. Here's Plato Crater again. Um, at the bottom of Plato Crater, the, uh, the line of bumps, you can see Cassini Crater right here. So these are some more zoom tests, always getting closer. And no, never ever will I repost the same footage. It's either manipulated closer or uh, the contrast is better and we see a, a structure or two better. That's my goal here is to show you guys the surface as clear as we can. This is raw, straight up research. That's what I call it. It's great amateur research and with success because there are so many techniques out there and that's how science was developed, guys. Mm -hmm.